Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install, get mining, and overclock your LHR GPUs using nice hashes, 100% LHR unlock. Taking a look at the news here, as of today, May 7th, LHR unlock 100% via nice hash. So you have to use nice hash quick miner excavator software it's the only one that has this right now and you have to use the release candidate and i'll show you how to do that here in a second now it works for every lhr gpu except the 3050 and the 3080 12 gigabytes so first thing you want to do is create an account on nice hash platform if you don't have one already i'm not going to walk you through that pretty positive you can figure it out because you're really smart um, i already have one but the next thing you got to do is download quick miner so go ahead to download and then you see a bunch of downloads here you want to select nice hash quick miner so really fast download so we're going to do that right now we're going to open that file up and then here the most important thing you need to do is download the release candidate the stable version doesn't include the lhr unlock only the release candidate and then you're going to hit download and install on there once that's done we're going to accept a bunch of terms and conditions that are going to pop up on the screen so waiting on that, there we go. Select uh, successfully installed, accept, accept. And now we need to get our mining address. So I'm gonna actually exit this out here for a second. Go over to my mining dashboard over on nicehash.com. So just click mining up in the corner here. Click on mining address, click on copy. I'm gonna hide that page, open up nicehash quick miner and paste my mining address right in there. You can see excavator, which is the mining software has already opened. I can now name my worker. I'm gonna name it test bench. I'm gonna go on to the next part of the configuration here. There's a couple of things you can do um, if you want to auto start, et cetera. And then that's it. I can hit okay and I can hit start mining and excavator is open and it has already started mining for me. Now this is gonna mine on stock overclock settings. So we'll let that do its thing. In the meantime, I wanna show you in case you don't believe me that this is in fact an LHR GPU. So I have GPU Z open here and you can see right here where it says GPU, it's a GA104 LHR. So this is an LHR 3060 Ti is the exact graphics card that I have here in the test bench that we're using for this video. And you can see right now stock settings, 38 mega hash, 114 watts being reported in the miner. So we got to do some overclocks to get this thing going. And you can do this one of two ways. The first way I'm going to show you is really the one click, set it and forget it. So I'm going to go over here to nice hash and you can see it's already applied a light. Actually, let me move this over so you can see it. You know, my camera is blocking it. So you can see it's already applied a light overclock setting. So this is really, really safe for the vast majority, probably all GPUs. I wanna get a little more aggressive with it. I wanna get really efficient with it. So I'm gonna come over here and change that to a high overclock setting and hit apply. And then what we're gonna see is it's gonna adjust the overclocks here in excavator. It's gonna give me more hash rate for less power and should get me around the most efficient that I can be on this 3060 Ti, currently in LHR, but doesn't matter anymore. So let's let this settle out and we'll check at the results. All right, got some results in. You can see 60.15 mega hash, 124.6 watts reported in the miner, which is really accurate. You can see above me, the wattage being measured in line over PCIe. That is just the wattage of the GPU. So the miner is really accurate, pulling just about the same. So you could do that. You could come in here, just set it and forget it, pick the overclock settings that nice hash has, and you are done. But there is a step that you can take to move a little bit further to customize the overclock. So I'm gonna show you OC tune right now. So you come back here into the nice hash dashboard for your mining rigs, by the way, all that same data that's reported in the miner is pulled right into the nice hash web interface. So you can see that anywhere you are. But right now I wanna show you how to manually overclock these GPUs on nice hash if that's something you wanted to do. So the first thing we gotta do is disable the automatic overclock and we put it back to manual. So. Once we've done that, it's gonna reset all the overclocks. We're gonna come down here. You can't see it because my camera's in the way, but you're gonna click on the nice hash quick miner uh, right by the clock. You're gonna right click and open OC tune. That's gonna open this horrible looking website that has a lot of data. That once you take your time, you can really sift your way through it and understand. 
The thing that we're going to do right now is focus specifically on the alternative method for overclocking. This is the best place to start if you want to manually overclock these graphics cards in NiceHash. So it has a core clock limit, really similar to what you're used to. If you use HiveOS, T-Rex Miner, you know, any of that stuff, you set your absolute core clock there. And then it has a memory clock, which is also absolute, which is a little different than probably you're used to if you use HiveOS or use MSI Afterburner. So I'll show you how this works right now. So I can see that I'm mining 51 mega hash. So I know I got some room to go a little higher. And if you click this plus 25, you're essentially boosting the absolute memory overclock of this graphics card. I'm gonna go ahead and hit single to apply that to this GPU. And then what'll probably make a little more sense is when you look at the memory delta here. That just moved the memory delta up to 550, which is plus 550 if you're thinking about MSI Afterburner or in Hive OS, you always have to double that. So that would be an 1100 overclock in Hive OS. And I know from having 3060 Ti's for a while, they can do probably around plus 1200 in MSI or plus 2400 over in Hive OS. So I know I got a lot of room to still work with to boost up these memory overclocks. Hive, uh, NiceHash also has a section on their website that I'll link down in the description below that'll give you a range to start with. So you can see I probably went too far, just did 1450 on the memory delta. I'm gonna dial that back just a little bit, probably around like 8100 is where I wanna be. So let's see if that refreshes. Yep, so that's about plus 1300 there. And you can see that also gets reflected in excavator mining software. You can see right there, plus 1300. The next thing you can do is set your core clocks. And I know that this GPU likes to do around 1400 for its core clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that here over in the alternative method for overclocking. And we're gonna see that quickly set over in the minor to 1395. It's always like a plus or minus five when you set the core clock. And you can see I've gotten now about 60.63 mega hash for 128 watts. That'll settle out a little bit. You can also watch all of this happen live in the excavator OC tuner. You can see that speed right there and the power that I'm using right there. Again, really accurate if you look above me to what I'm pulling in line over the meter. And it's gonna track your efficiency right here too. So you wanna chase on this GPU, I know about a 0.48 efficiency is kind of like where I wanna be. So I can still do a little tweaking here, but I'll save that for another video in the future. And again, you can see all this reflected right here on NiceHash's website. I move this over, all that's reflected here. You can see the actual profitability over 24 hours, all the status of the GPU, power to using efficiency, fan speeds, temperatures, all of that is right here. So. That's it, guys. That's everything that you can do to get started mining with the 100% LHR unlock with NiceHash. We use a 3060 Ti LHR in this test, and it really works. It really works, and it's really, really cool. So thanks, NiceHash, for making this happen in whatever magic way you did. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link's down in the description below. Follow me on social media. Links are also down in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself and each other. And I'll see you in the next video.